Hi, this is Cameron for Tweak Town, back again for another preview video. Uh, today we're at MSI, as you can see here, and we're looking at the P67A GD65 motherboard. It's right down here, so let's have a look at it right now. So we start off, we can uh, get a closer look at the box. Uh, some of the uh, le Legos are actually covered up because this uh, product is still under NDA by Intel. Um, but you can see it does have official NVIDIA SLI support and of course uh, Crossfire support from AMD. Um, again, this is the P67A GD65 motherboard. One of the big features, you, as you can see here on the box, is it does come with uh, Military Class 2 support. Um, and that uh, has a lot to do with the power and um, stability of the board. One of the other big features is um, OC Genie 2. Both of these features have actually been upgraded for the launch of the P67 chipset. Um, we come around to the, the back of the board. Um, we get a look at some of the um, other features. Uh, a couple of them, Instant OC, Supercharger, Click BIOS 2, that is actually a UEFI BIOS. Um, so now we've had a look at uh, some, you know, an overview of the features, let's have a look at the board. Alright, so here's your first look at the P67A GD65. Uh, now, as we saw in the box, one of the big features is the Military Class 2. Uh, now, if we come in close, you can see that there are um, these chokes here, uh, SFC. They're actually 6 plus 2 um, chokes. Um, so, what these, these um, chokes are actually 30% more efficient. So, on a MSI board like this, this is actually a mid range board. You may expect to see, you know, 8, 12, 10 power phases. This one has 6, as we mentioned. Um, and that's because these um, uh, SFC uh, chokes are able to provide 30% more current. Here we can see the um, high C caps. Uh, now they actually provide, uh, according to the box that I'm looking at, uh, eight, eight times longer lifetime. Uh, so it's going to provide, uh, you know, of course, a uh, bit of uh, stability for the for the platform. And, of course, you can see um, Japanese uh, solid capacitors here, which uh, claim to have a lifetime of around uh, 10 years. Um, other features on the board, you can see the, uh, the cooling setup here for the, uh, for the power requirements of the board. Uh, dual channel support here. Uh, as we said before, this board does support um, Crossfire and SLI. And these, these are actually both PCI Express 2.0 uh, connectors right here. And if I'm correct, they run it, uh, if, the, if you're running dual graphics, they'll run it um, 8 lanes and 8 lanes. Um, if you're running a single slot, it should be 16 lanes. Uh, now, one of the other features is um, OC Genie 2. So this is an improvement um, uh, from the P55 motherboard. And you can see these buttons here. Uh, this particular board of, is, of course, a P67 board. So when you push this OC Genie button here, it will provide an instant overclock. Unfortunately, um, due to the N NDA, we're not allowed to say um, the actual boost in performance, but it is uh, pretty good. Uh, then, of course, it is a power and reset button here. There are a total of four SATA 6 um, connectors on there. Two of the SATA 6 connectors are provided from the P67 chipset and there is a, uh, I believe, a Marvell uh, chipset on there to provide the extra two SATA 6 um, gigabit slots. Now we come around to the back, you'll notice um, there are two USB 3 um, ports here and they are provided by the um, NEC controller. So you get two USB 3 ports on the back I.O. panel and this um, pin header here provides another two USB 3 ports. Now coming back to the box here, one of the extra features that we um, saw before is the supercharger. Now um, coming over to the board, this red pin header here, this is a USB 2 pin header. Now, um, You've seen uh, some of MSI's competitors, they have similar solutions to this. So basically, when, even when the board is turned off, um, you'll be able to plug in um, an adapter here that provides two 
uh, USB 2 um, ports and you, so that will enable you to um, plug, in, plug in your iPhone, your iPad or other mobile device and continue charging your um, mobile phone or iPad even when the motherboard is turned off. Additionally with this slot there is actually um, three times more current pushed through uh, this connector so uh, off camera we were just told you know an example you might see is uh, ch doing a full charge taking it down from you know say four hours to two hours so uh, that is a that is a handy handy feature now one thing the MSI mentioned as well is there's no uh, you know this is really easy to use you don't have to uh, go into Windows and do any configuration basically you just uh, plug uh, the USB 2 connector into that and um, it will just work. That's what we're told. So this has been Cameron for Tweaktown looking at the MSI P67A GD65 motherboard. I um, hope you've enjoyed it and come back again soon for more video content. Okay, so my face is a little bit red right now. Um, we're in a bit of a rush. The board we've just shown you, that was actually the GD55. Um, so we come over here, this is the GD65. So this is a cheaper version, it does cut out some features. Now we'll just quickly, uh, it, we'll just quickly go over some of the things uh, that we're missing. This is the, uh, the extra SATA uh, connector here, which uh, provides two ports. Um, this board does come with um, dual BIOS support. It is UEFI um, supported. Um, so yeah, that is that is your look at the GD65. Uh, so on the left, just to repeat, that is the GD55, and on the on the right, that is the GD65. So sorry for that, but uh, there's just a little bit of uh, clarification for you.